So what is an what it, what is an osteoblast and what is an osteoclast? Uh, one of them builds the bone and the other one breaks it down. Well, which one does which? Blast builds it. Blast builds, right? Class breaks down, mm -hmm. right? So our bones are a natural source of calcium. Um, I mean, their main uh, um, function is for structure, right, for our bodies, but they're also a storage of calcium because your body needs calcium ion for, you know, muscle contraction and a lot of different processes, right? And so your bones are kind of like this bank where, you know, when your blood calcium levels get low, you're able to extract the calcium from the bone to release it in the bloodstream to be used for your body, right? And so you're, there's ways that your body regulates um, your blood calcium levels, and it's by either inhibiting or activating osteoblasts and osteoclasts, right? Okay, so you have like this little picture, right, that looks like this, or, and it's like a little jellyfish thing, right? Osteoclast, right? Um, so what an osteoclast does is it um, breaks down the bone tissue to release calcium into the bloodstream, right? <clears throat> and so your body has different hormones um, to help regulate this activity. So we've got um, three of them right here. So we've got, I don't know how to say this, right? estradiol, whatever. estradiol. <laughs> Uh, calcitonin, and, and what's the other one? Uh, I'm not really sure if it's right, but osteoprogen. Osteo. Is that right, guys? Sometimes I just make up letters if I don't know what they say. I think it's before. osteoprogeneron or something like that. Oh, progeneron. Yeah, that sounds right. Something like that. Osteopro. Okay. So these are different, like, hormones, molecules that help to inhibit osteoclast activity, okay? So this, it's, they inhibit osteoclasts, okay? So if you were to inhibit an osteoclast, what would happen to your blood calcium levels? So they would break down the bone, so the calcium levels would decrease. So if we're, so this is an osteoclast, and it inhibits it? And we're inhibiting it, what are we doing? The calcium, the calcium, the calcium would stay in. So <laughs> we'll stop removing calcium from the bone, so then we'd lower calcium levels, or stop raising them, right? Um, and usually um, osteoblasts will kind of take over and start um, uh, the bone deposition, right? <clears throat> okay, and then we have this uh, parathyroid hormone, right? It works a little bit differently. Um, it basically, um, it kind of indirectly affects the osteoclast. And what it does is parathyroid hormone actually attached to an osteoblast think, and causes osteoblast to secrete interleukin-6 which helps to stimulate an osteoclast. Oh, it stimulates osteoclast, not osteoblast. Yeah, well, oh, if parathyroid hormone binds to osteoblasts, okay. which stimulates the release of interleukin-6 from the osteoblast, which stimulates the osteoclast. So it's kind of a, an indirect stimulation of osteoclast activity. So why would your body secrete parathyroid hormone? Say that again. Why, why would your body secrete parathyroid hormone? When your calcium gets low. When your calcium gets low, right? Because you want to raise the calcium. Yeah. Right? And so it's kind of this feedback type of thing where if this level gets low, it stimulates parathyroid, right? To, to secrete parathyroid hormone, which stimulates osteoclast activity, raise um, blood calcium levels. The opposite, right? We have these other hormones that inhibit, inhibit, inhibit osteoclasts mm -hmm. to to stop them from um, reabsorbing the uh, calcium, so that osteoblasts can lay it down. Um, so, does that kind of help 
Yes, that so these inhibit that, which so it lowers the level of potassium, mm -hmm. right? What these inhibit? Those these hormones inhibit inhibit osteoclasts, which slows down the secretion, which slows some of the level. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and with the PKH, does it like work with? Like through the kidneys and with the vitamin D helping absorb things yeah. and like it's like the whole system and it goes back into the body. Yeah, exactly. So parathyroid hormone, it's not just this. Um, it's also going to act upon the intestines and the kidneys to reabsorb. Um, and so vitamin D um, contributes to the absorption of calcium. That's why it's in the intestines. In, in the intestines, right? And so, um, it, yeah, it helps to secrete. So. The role of parathyroid hormone is to increase blood calcium levels. So it's going to pull it from the bone, from the intestines, from the kidneys, kind of run all the systems to raise that. You're right. So okay. well, um, I was just making sure. Yeah, no, yeah, you're right. And so, yeah. 